Today you will see one of the most scenic, pristine, and challenging golf courses in the region. Plus, I'm going to help you with your chipping game. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement. Next on Winning Golf. Got a chance. Could it be? It's in the cup. Wow. Winning golf, that's what we play. It's in the hole. Working on that short game each and every day. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all begins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today we come to you from the gorgeous Hartfeld National. And joining me as our host today is the general manager of the Desmond Hotel and my very good friend, Michael Chain. Michael, first of all, welcome to Winning Golf. And Michael, after a very challenging 2020, it's great to see the Desmond team back in action and hosting some of their key customers, employees, and close friends. Michael, I think we're gonna have a very special and exciting day together. Doug, we are. We got a great group of friends of both hotels down, and we're going to have a great day. Well, thank you, my friend. Well, guys, I've got a simple question for you. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Love that enthusiasm. Well, our first skills challenge today is a putting contest, and Matt Sosinski has been asked to participate. Matt, here's the game. As you can see, I have five ball markers on the green at 2, 4, 6, and 8, 10 feet. Now, I'm going to give you one putt from each marker. Now, here's the values. The two and four footers are worth 25 Desmond dollars. The six and eight footers are worth 50 Desmond dollars. And Matt, that 10 footer is worth 100 Desmond dollars. So my good friend, if your putter's on fire today, in less than a minute, you could walk away with 250 Desmond dollars. How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What a prize. Yeah. Let's get ready to putt. Well, Matt says since he is ready to go, and here we are at from two feet for 25 Desmond dollars. And that is right in the heart of the hole. And now we move to four feet for 25 more, right up the hill. And look at that putt. That's 50 Desmond dollars. Now we move to the $50 putt from six feet. And that is in the heart of the hole. That is now in triple digits at $100, going for 50 more from eight feet. And look at this putt. Oh! He is dialed in. We have the big one left from 10 feet for 100 Desmond dollars. Here it comes. And that is just about left, but he had a great day. Matt Sosinski, everybody. Well, Matt Sosinski, congratulations. You have 100 Desmond dollars in the bank, so I think some of these guys behind you might, might become your close friends today. Yeah. 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 I, don't know, I don't know how my wife's going to feel about that, but because she loves the Desmond. Well, you did well today, my friend. Yeah. Well, as you can see, this Desmond team knows how to play some winning golf, and the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us, but first, let's take a tour around today's host facility and championship golf course, the breathtaking Hartfield National. Hartfield National, located in Avondale, Pennsylvania, is a private golf and social club, as well as a member of the Club Corp Network. This magnificent facility opened its doors in 1995 and is already recognized as one of the Northeast's most honored golf courses. This Tom Fazio masterpiece offers dramatic elevation changes, breathtaking vistas, terraced tee boxes, sculpted greens, as well as majestic tree lines of oak, beech, holly, and pine. And just recently, Hartfield completed a full bunker restoration program and also rerouted its front nine to create a better flow for play and allow both nines to finish in front of the clubhouse. The rerouting of the front nine happened this season. It's a much easier start to the, to the front nine. A lot of our tougher holes now you'll see uh, in the closing holes, seven, eight, and nine, rather than uh, three, four, and five. One thing is for sure, Mr. Fazio's outstanding design never fails to challenge and entertain golfers of all abilities. In fact, this 26-year-old championship golf course has already hosted a senior PGA Tour event, the Exxon Invitational, a PGA event hosted by Jim Furyk, and most recently welcomed the DSGA Senior Amateur. In addition to the stunning golf course, the golf operation offers endless amenities, including a knowledgeable and service-oriented PGA professional staff, private instruction, fun and innovative junior camps, exciting member tournaments, a well-stocked pro shop, a new golf cart fleet, top-notch men's and ladies' locker rooms, and state-of-the-art practice facilities, which include 
a spacious all-grass tee driving range, a private short game area, and a pristine putting green. Of course, Hartfell National offers more than just spectacular golf amenities. The historic Stone Country Manor Clubhouse, with rich woodwork and breathtaking views of the golf course, offers casual and upscale dining. The popular grill and pub is one of the favorite dining destinations for members and their guests. You can enjoy delicious cuisine around a cozy fireside in the winter, a delicious meal outside on the beautiful patio in the summer, as well as fine dining and casual meals anytime in the pub. Whether it's enjoying snacks and pints in the Irish style pub, upscale dining in the Walker Cup room, or fun evenings on the brand new bocce courts, Hartfield National's warm, family friendly and inviting atmosphere keeps members and guests coming back. We looked at the member experience and we wanted to offer something uh, a little bit better so we put in some bocce courts here at Hartfeld National and you, you can picture a great evening uh, with the sun going down, families playing bocce out on the patio with a band playing. It's, it's wonderful. We really have had a lot of good traction with the bocce courts here at Hartfeld. And to top it off, Hartfeld has recently unveiled the new Fazio Golf Lounge, a gorgeous social hub offering great food, craft drinks, and two full swing golf simulators. It's 85 courses that you can choose from, or you can just go in and practice. But the best thing is that it's right next to the bar and the restaurant area, so you know guys can uh, have easy access to, you know, to some food and, and drink while they're playing. The Fazio Lounge is the perfect setting to make new friends, host fun parties, as well as work on your golf games all year round. And speaking of unbelievable benefits, by joining Hartfield National, you automatically become a member of the Club Corp Network, which gives you access to more than 300 country clubs and business clubs nationwide. If interested in membership at Hartfield National, or possibly hosting a first class wedding, corporate meeting, golf outing, or any special celebration, please call 610-268-8800 or check out the web at hartfeld.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Joe Smart, Jim Frenis, Mike Chain Sr., Ed Rado, Makesh Singh, Matt Sasinski, Michael Chain, Alex Vinarchik, Sean Scott, Larry Jalbert, Paul Bradicus, Chaz Gorman, Eric Hall, Dave McAvoy, Zach Ebert. Our players are set for Doug's FootJoy lesson tip and shoe contest. FootJoy, the number one shoe in golf. Fellas, today's FootJoy contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to help you with your club selection when it comes to your chipping game. Part two, Mike Shane Sr. is going to put my chipping tip in action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit this chip shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this? How about a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Yeah. Yeah. What a prize. What a prize that is. <clears throat> so unfortunately, guys, many of my golfers, wherever the pin is located, will choose a sand wedge to hit their chip shot all their chip shots. So then we're going to talk about that. Today I've brought out two clubs. We have a 60 foot uphill chip shot. I brought out a 56 degree sand wedge and a nine iron which is about 42 degrees. Let's start with the sand wedge. If I choose this sand wedge to hit this shot, I know I will get very little roll. And because I'm getting very little roll, I will have to move my landing area much closer to the pin. Which means I've got to now fly my ball further. There are two absolutes in this game. Number one, it's safer for a ball to roll versus fly. And number two, I know if my landing area is closer to me on the green, I'll have a better chance of hitting it if it, than if it's further away. Do you agree with those absolutes? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So that makes me go to the nine iron because the nine iron with 14 degrees less loft will guarantee my ball will roll more, which allows me to move my landing area closer to me which gives me a better chance of hitting it. Agreed? Yes. Okay. So these two keys, fellas, picking the right club and selecting the right landing area are gigantic if you want to build a great chipping game, okay? I'd like Mike Shane Sr. to come up here and put this tip in action. Michael, how about a nice applause for Mike? Thank you. Thank you. All right, Michael, so, so let's get set up over this golf ball, all right? And I want you to play the ball in the middle of your stance. 
a little weight on your front leg. It's going to stay there. Okay. Now I've also provided you with a landing area, and I believe if you hit in that circle or anywhere around it with this nine iron, you're going to be happy with the outcome. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Well, I'm going to step back with this wonderful Desmond team. Mike, when you're ready, let's put a nice stroke on this nine iron. Boy, look at this shot right in the ring, everybody. And that is winning golf by Mike Shane Sr. I think we picked the right club. And I hope you learned a lot today. That was a great tip. I'm going to use it today <laughs> well, for well, sure. Thanks, Doug. Well, Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you, Michael. Hey, guys, you ready to try to win a pair of foot joy shoes? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to Doug at rdhgolf.com. Our Foot Joy contest features a 60-foot uphill chip with the goal of hitting the landing area with a 9-iron. Michael Chain is up to the challenge. And that's a great touch by Mike. Well done, buddy. Alex Vinarczyk has this shot in his bag. Alex Vinarczyk hits the ring. And look at this touch. That is about pin high. Well done, Alex. Great job. Ed Rado paid attention to Doug's tip. Ed Rado right in the middle of that ring. And look at this shot by Ed Rado. And that is awesome, Ed. Great job. Sean Scott needs a new pair of shoes. Well, that's the softest nine I've ever seen. All right, we'll take that. Well done, Sean Scott. Well, Sean, congratulations. You picked the right club, and then you hit a great chip shot. So now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf, Sean. But my question for you is this. How would you like to add an amazing putter to those new foot joy shoes? I would love that, Doug. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I love your enthusiasm, so I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. FootJoy has been the number one shoe on tour for 75 years. We were innovating then, and we continue to innovate today. And this whole time, we've had one simple goal, to elevate our game so you can elevate yours. We build gear for every player, every swing, every stance, and everywhere you might play. Well, maybe not there. The fact is, we're passionate about progress, and this is the best our game has ever been. So why don't you come play with us? Think premium can't be capable? Think again. Introducing the first ever AT4 lineup. Premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Current eligible GMC owners get 3,000 purchase allowance on 2021 GMC Sierra light duty crew cab models when you finance through GM Financial. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Vokey SM8 Wedges. Know your letter, hit your number. Vokey SM8 Wedges. And by Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. With winning golf, everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Titleist Challenge. Titleist, the choice of the world's best. In our next thrilling contest, one of you could take home the number one putter in golf, a Scotty Cameron putter. How's that sound? Yeah. What a great prize. All right, so here's the deal. Our wonderful host, Mike Chain, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will have two chances from 10 feet to roll in a putt. If successful, he will take home a Scotty Cameron putter. So needless to say, this is going to be very exciting. And speaking of exciting, Mike Chain, who's our lucky contestant today here at the beautiful Hartfield National? Zach Ebert. Zach yeah. Ebert. Yeah. Zach, come on up here, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Zach, so let me review the contest. Okay. Two chances from 10 feet, you roll one in, you take home a Scotty Cameron putter. You up for the challenge? Absolutely, no pressure. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, let's go make a putt. All right. Okay, Zach Ebert has two chances to roll in a 10 foot putt. If successful, Zach will add a title Scotty Cameron putter to his bag, just like I did this season. Here it comes. Oh, just over to the left side. Oh, he's got one more. Good setup, good stroke, it's got a chance. Oh, just over the left lip. That was a great effort by Zach Ebert. Well, Zach, that was a great effort. You didn't win the prize, but I still hope you had a lot of fun. It was a blast, thanks for having us out here. You're quite welcome. Well, we didn't give away the Scotty Cameron putter this week, but the great news is this. We still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. 
Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one is a 40-foot uphill chip that Chaz Gorman handles well. It's right below the hole. Well done. There you go. Joe Smart chips it nicely to just over three feet away. Let's look at his shot by Joe. And that's a highlight, my friend. Well done. Paul Burdickus gets an inch closer. And look at this touch by Paul. And that is winning golf by Paul Burdickus. Dave McAvoy shows off his short game skills. Going right at Dave McAvoy. Oh! Alex Van Archik hits a tremendous chip to a foot and a half away. But a beautiful stroke. And that is a touch by Alex. Winning golf, Alex. But check out Mike Chane Sr. He takes the round with this shot to a foot away. Mike Chane Sr. Wow. Tremendous chip shot by Mike Chane. Up next for our players is this 20 yard pitch shot with a big left to right break. Michael Chane starts us off. Hey, look at this touch by our host. Well done, Mike Chane. Well done. Makesh Singh has a good read on this one. Well, this could be right below the hole. And that's a great touch by Mukesh Singh. Thank you. Well done. Joe Smart's effort stops just over five feet away. And this is moving from left to right. And that's a great stroke, Joe. Well done. There you go. Chaz Gorman ups the ante with this effort to two and a half feet. This should move from left to right, about 10 foot break here. Look at this, nestling towards the hole. Wow, well done. Matt Sosinski pitches it to just over two feet. And a great touch, moving from left to right. And look at this touch by Matt. That is winning golf by Matt Sosinski. Dave McAvoy looks to take the round with this shot to one foot 11 inches. And a crisp touch, and this is coming down towards the cup. And that is winning golf by Dave McAvoy. Well done, buddy. But Ed Rado steals the round with this winning golf shot to one foot five inches. Ed, this got a chance to be very Come close on. coming down. Come on. The look at Come this on. by Ed Rado. Wow. Makesh Singh steps up for round three's 30 foot putt. He's online. Will it get there? Good effort. Good effort. Sean Scott has a nice putting stroke. And look at that touch by Sean. All right, Sean. Eric Hall rolls it nicely to one foot, 10 inches. Moving from right to left. Look at this touch by Eric. Oh, wow. oh well done. Paul Perdiccas puts it nicely. Moving from right to left, coming back towards the cup. That's a great putt. Matt Sosinski reading this putt well. Look at his touch by Matt. Wow. Good putt. Really well done. Zach Ebert's effort is looking good at one foot, seven inches. He's got the line. Well done. Larry Jalbert hits a wonderful putt to one foot five inches. He's got a chance, Larry Jalbert. Right on the doorstep, Larry. But check out Jim Frenis. At eight inches, he takes the round. Moving from right to left, coming in the back door, has got a chance. And that's the idea, buddy. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks, brought to you by Thermal Solutions, a dynamic mechanical insulation contractor celebrating 16 years of excellence. Thermal Solutions. I'm here with Michael Chain, the general manager of the Desmond Hotel and Conference Center in Malvern, Pennsylvania. And Michael, thanks for joining me today. Doug, great to be here today. You got it. Well, my friend, as, as you know, we had a very challenging 2020, but thankfully some things are getting somewhat back to normal. So how normal are things today at the beautiful Desmond Hotel? Well, they're getting there. They're not quite where they were uh, before the pandemic started, but slowly we're, uh, we're increasing our business level. Great to have people in the building again and, and get back to doing what we do best at both hotels. Well, that's awesome. Well, speaking of both hotels, for the first time in winning golf, you had guests from both Desmonds here today. We did. We had a nice crew from Albany, New York come down uh, and spend some time with us and uh, also our great friends of the Great Valley Desmond and we're having a great day. Well, that's awesome. Well, one thing is for sure, whether it's a special celebration, a corporate meeting, an overnight stay, or a simply delicious meal, I can promise you this, you'll love your experience at both Desmonds. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this 90-foot pitch from the rough. 
Ed Rado knows how to play this shot. Towards the Come cup, on. and look at this, baby. Another great winning golf shot by Ed Rado. Larry Jalbert's effort finds its way to two and a half feet. Will it hit the fringe? It might, and here it is, coming back towards the hole. Larry Jalbert, this is coming right towards the cup. Larry Jalbert, oh! But our two finalists hit some amazing shots, starting with Jim Frenis' effort to 10 inches. Jim Frenis rolling towards the cup, and that is winning golf by Jim Frenis. Whoa! Mike Chain Sr. has the magic touch. At three inches, he takes the round. Moving from left to right, and this could be very close. And that is winning golf by Mike Chain Sr. Oh my goodness. So it'll be Jim Frenis versus Mike Chain Sr. when winning golf comes right back. There's only one most trusted. There's only one most consistent. There's only one most advanced. There's only one number one ball in golf. Look at this shoe that doesn't look like a golf shoe that performs exactly like a golf shoe. This thing is tuned for the game. Who would have thought wrapping your foot in comfort could also mean you'd have powerful support? And who would have thought that with every move you make, it would move with you? Okay, well, if you're already thinking that, then who would have thought a golf shoe that can do all this would look like that? Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Bushnell. Unleash your inner DJ with the new Bushnell Wingman. Titleist Golf Balls. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Scotty Cameron putters. Scotty Cameron, the choice of champions. Doug Hendricks wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. We're all set for our Belfour up and in playoff. Belfour property restoration. Restoring more than property. We were on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes, a beautiful championship trophy, and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Now the rules for the Belfour up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the Belfour up and in playoff will be a 35 yard pitch shot over a bunker. Jim Frenis will have the honors. Jim carries a 12 handicap and plays most of his golf at Western Hills Golf Club in Connecticut. Look at this golf shot. That is a thing of beauty under pressure. Jim Frenis. And now it's Mike Chain Sr.'s turn to try and battle this very challenging 18th green. Mike owns a 14 handicap, enjoys his golf at Jack Frost National. Look at our two finalists. Another thing of beauty. And that is right behind the hole. Well, Mike Chain is away, so he will have the honors and putt first. Mike has nine feet down the hill, just taps it. Oh, and that is going past. And these greens are in mint condition, and boy, do they roll. Well, Mike is now looking at about a 12-foot putt up the hill. Here it comes, what a stroke. Oh, and that's just off to the side. He's gonna tap this in. And now Jim Frenis is looking at three feet, but it's down the hill. Oh, and he pulls it a little bit. And this is a very challenging green. Now Jim has five feet to become the winning golf champion here at Hartfield National. It's a good setup and a good stroke, and it's in the heart of the hall. Jim Frannis is our winning golf champion here at Hartfield National. Jim, you had your A-plus short game working today. Very challenging 18th green, but you hit the big pressure shots when it counted. Hey, that's what great champions do, Jim, and I just hope you enjoy your experience with winning golf. Oh, thank you, Doug. I had a great time. Uh, the course is spectacular. This is an A-plus event. I do want to thank Mike Chain, uh, Jr. and Sr. for the invitation, all the folks at the Desmond Hotel. They are great friends and great partners. Well, thank you, Jim, and thank you for your kind words. Now, I've just been informed that we have room in this show for one more exciting highlight, and that is you rolling in a putt from 60 feet for the keys to a gorgeous Buick Envision. Jim, you have one more great shot in you today. I sure hope so. Well, we're rooting for you, my friend. Don't leave your seat. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. 
You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure, it's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. The all-new Buick Envision, built around you, all of you. Pay no interest for 72 months, plus current eligible Buick owners get 500 purchase allowance on 2021 Buick SUV models. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the Buick Envision at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our Winning Golf champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous Buick Envision. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. Today's Winning Golf champion, Jim Frenis, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll it in, Jim will win the keys and a two-year lease to a spectacular Buick Envision. Well, the only question left to answer today is, can Jim Frenis provide us with a miracle? The good news is the greens here at Hartfield National are in mint condition, and as we saw earlier, Jim can certainly handle the pressure. And here it comes from 60 feet. The line looks good, the speed looks good. This one's got a chance. Jim Frenis got a chance. It's in the hole! Do you believe in miracles? Jim Frenneth has just won a gorgeous Buick Envision at Hartfeld National. Our Desmond team is going crazy. I'm going crazy. Special thanks to the Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Wow, what a lifetime memory for Jim Frenneth. Winning golf the show where everybody wins. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from this spectacular Hartfeld National. I would personally like to thank the entire Hartfeld National staff and membership for their warm welcome and over the top hospitality. Also a very special thanks to my host today, Mike Chain, and his Desmond team. Well, Jim Frannis, every week I ask for a miracle, and today we got one. Incredible shot. I'm very proud of you. You're an awesome person, which is great to see it happen to a nice guy. And I think we built a lifetime memory today, my friend. We certainly did. Thank you, Doug, so much. Um, I want to thank everyone at Winning Golf. The facilities here are magnificent. The guys behind me rooting for me, that was unbelievable. And of course, Mike Chain and all those at the Desmond. We did it with my Scotty Cameron and my title as well. <laughs> well, that is awesome, Jim. Again, very proud of you. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's show. I'll see you all next week. Here we